Okay, this video is on polarity shift motor. Now, the idea is along the lines of what I've been doing previously on videos, where I've been showing you a piece of the puzzle. If, if I tried to, to, to give you what I've seen and what I know about the future, what little I know, actually, because, you know, just like anybody else is screwed around in high school, what the heck. Um, the thing is, comparatively speaking to 200 years in the future, and it's hard for me to back up and try to figure out where to start a lot of times, but that's what's taken me all this time to figure out how to do this since I've been here. I'm giving you guys, in essence, the alphabet of the language that is used in the future as far as technology goes. I mean, that's the comparison. I don't, cannot, just not possibly, in ten minutes' time on one video, give you every, all the concepts together for devices that are entirely based in the future on integrated technology. There are seldom, if, if any that even exist still 200 years from now, that don't include integrated technologies. So I'm having to back up, and if you think of the integrated technologies 200 years in the future as like, you, I mean, in English you move from the alphabet, learning alphabet, how to put the word, words together, then words, how to put sentences together, and then sentences, how to put paragraphs together and paragraphs how to put essays together or whole books. 200 years from now is like um, books and you guys are on just the alphabet that you need to make the words that you need to make the sentences that you need to make the paragraphs and so on of the books that exist technologically speaking in the future. That's the comparison. So I'm having to go back and this is one of the things, along with what I've already showed you, I've given you guys uh, a little bit of the alphabet and all the other devices I've shown you. I've illustrated concepts that are used in the future. If you haven't seen perpetual energy device number one, that is the basis for, for what, if you will, the words I'm trying to get you guys to, technologically speaking. I'm giving you the alphabet that will hopefully help you make the words that I'm trying to get you to make. So anyway, polarity shift motor. It's not just a motor in the, the, the traditional sense of like what I've come to understand you guys are used to in this time period. Now, if you see my PED number one, then you know I've got a, a disc looking device. And basically, it's the device with the generator in the middle and a little bit motor over here running, trying to spin this disc when, of course, the leverage, the um, physics involved is there's this motor has a uh, potential to create more power by turning the disc out here at the edge um, to crank the, the uh, generator in the middle. Well, we're going to replace that motor with something else. We're going to start integrating technology starting with this design and the polarity shifting concept. You guys are already familiar with this. It's used in all your amusement parks. Um, you got magnets on a track that draw the car towards it using magnetism on one end of the pole and then as the car passes the mag through the magnet it shifts polarity and now it's going to push the car instead of pulling it now it's pushing it away from it and there are magnets set up all along the track that do that very basic concept very simple what you need to think of now is in this design the polarity shift motor first of all the whole device becomes the motor. That's one of the things you need to realize. The wheel, or the disc, is the car. But instead of moving the car in a straight direction, we're going to move the car in a circular direction. So out here, we're going to have what looks like a series of magnets that are controlled and timed so that as components on the wheel are at certain points, like right here before this magnet, the magnet's going to pull that component on the end of the wheel, which of course is going to pull the wheel, or the disc rather, on the disc, is drawn towards the magnet on this pole, and then as it crosses halfway across the magnet, the pole is shifted, and now the component is being pushed, and while this next magnet is pulling, the pole, or the pole is such that the component on the disc is pulling, and again, the component on the disc as the disc is spinning moves around halfway across the um, magnet where 
at a, the exact right point, uh, the magnet's going to shift polarity, and now it's going to cause a pushing effect and push the component away from the magnet, keeping the acceleration going, keeping the movement going. So you've got these magnets all along the outside of the disk. Now people have said, well, you know, the drag from the uh, generator in the middle, and then you've got the motor on the outside, which is based on basically the same technology. One cancels out the other. It's not going to work, da 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 But again, um, I want to incorporate something into this that's additional to this, really. I wanna, this is pr basically what I want to present as far as the polarity shift motor is concerned. But you have to, again, realize integrated technologies. While I've got this concept of instead of moving a car through an amusement um, ride, the car is, is the component and the magnets are, are pulling it one direction, and as it crosses the magnet, it's the polarity is shifting and it's pushing the car on to the next magnet. This is doing it in a circular motion, as opposed to a straight or curly Q or up in the air or whatever. Does that make sense? I mean, I wish, I hope you guys can get this. That, well, there's people who say that, well, this won't work by itself. Of course it won't work by itself. Probably. The way you guys are doing things here now, you're, again, you're trying to, to use the alphabet to, to write, you know, a book. You, you first need to learn how to, 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 to spell words and make sentences and write paragraphs. You can't just have a steady stream of letters in the alphabet back to back all over the page. It looks like gibberish. That's what you guys are trying to do with my ideas. I'm thinking with the words, the sentences, and the paragraphs inside the book. You guys don't see that yet. Okay, so let's start putting some words together. And by that I mean this is the letter, just this concept alone. Putting a word together using this technology that I'm trying to, to give to you guys now, what level I think you can handle, is by taking this disc, and of course, from the uh, PED number one video, incorporating the polarity shift component into this, but not just that. Also on the disc itself, on the disc itself, solar capture materi material, solar capture technology. Also on the disc itself, the magnets could be either above or underneath. I prefer underneath. And then on top, if you haven't seen it, my um, <coughs> my my video on wind power design. And I'm having a brain fart, I'm forgetting what I <laughs> named it. Um, the the wind power design have. If you remember the video I have on that, let me see if I can remember what the name of it is. Darn, I hate it when I have brain force like this. Wind capture. Wind capture technology. Incorporate that into this design.